Meanwhile, out west, explosive wildfires now are threatening to force even more evacuations in Southern California today. Hundreds of firefighters there are still working to gain the upper hand or really hands on two fires now both known as one, the San Gabriel complex. Roughly 5,000 acres have been torched in the eastern suburbs of Los Angeles along the San Gabriel mountain range. Our Maria Villarreal is in one of the hardest hit areas there in Duarte, California. Again, it's the foothills of the Angeles National Forest. And Maria, what is the latest there? Well, good morning, Josh. Here's what we know at this point. We have some updated numbers. At, at this point, the fire, the San Gabriel Complex fire, which, as you mentioned, is two fires put together, uh, the Fish Fire as well as the Reservoir Fire. Uh, what we're looking at is 10% containment for both of those fires at this point. We have roughly 5,400 acres that have been burned over the last few days. Um, and we're also seeing an updated number of homes that have been evacuated, 770. We just talked to a couple of fire officials here just a few minutes ago that tell us um, this is a mandatory evacuation. Once the residents leave their homes, they are not being allowed back in um, until they are given the all clear at this point. Um, there is a lot of concern right now about the possibility of some of the winds whipping up over the next uh, few hours, over the next day or so. Uh, but that's kind of what we're monitoring right now. You'll actually hear a helicopter over me probably in the next minute or so. And uh, we do know, again, as of Tuesday, authorities uh, said no structures had been lost. Almost a thousand homes, again, are, are being threatened. Uh, with regard, though, to the heat wave, which has really been, uh, you know, however tragically running hand in hand with uh, these uh, wildfires breaking out all over the region. Is, will there be any break today and in the days to come? You know, so the good news is, yeah, overnight we really did see the temperatures dial back just a little bit, which for people here in California is actually a huge help, not just obviously to their daily business, but also to the wildfires that they're seeing in their backyard. Um, right now we were doing our live shot over the morning and we really felt temperatures probably like in the low 70s, which is great. Uh, very minimal winds. Um, and it does look like for now we're going to probably see in this area low 90s, which is a big difference from what we saw when this fire really got going on Monday, which was uh, well over 100 degrees in this area. Um, again, there is a concern that what we saw overnight is the, the possibility that any little bit amount of wind that pops up can really kind of flare up some of these smoldering hot spots. So that's what uh, fire officials tell us they're, they're looking at and monitoring right now. The nation's thoughts are certainly with the regions looking at some of these images. It is just terrifying stuff. Maria, we appreciate the time.